Uh, right, any questions, please email in. It's studio at createandcraft.com. You are watching Craft Extra. It's lovely to have you come. If you're thinking, where's Dawn? Where is she? She's on her holiday. She's on a holiday. Really enjoyed it. On her holly bobs. Um, but she'll be back soon. Don't know when she's back. I think it's next week. Um, but anyway, lovely to have your company. Thanks for having me. Uh, right. Right. So where we uh, sort of stopped on the uh, previous show is actually uh, with the uh, glass gel effect. Yes. Okay. That was applying and actually uh, placing the uh, little... Doesn't that uh, look great? Blobs. Right. It's not finished yet because I actually took... Uh, to do the next stage, yes. I really need to just wait and make sure that obviously the dots are dry 100%. Yes. Okay. But one thing I didn't show you, but um, but I, 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 I was going to, is basically <laughs> uh, these little dots, okay, yeah. that I've created uh, in between the shows, yes. okay, using the same gels. Okay. Oh, do you know, do you know, I know I know I'm not allowed to have my phone in the studio with me but now I'm thinking I wish I did because do you know what I've used these for I've just remembered yeah I got a stone out the garden mm -hmm. smooth pebble I painted it black mm -hmm. and I used these exact same to make these little tiny um, drops and I created a pattern on the stone. So I started with one colour in the middle, then I went round the outside, then again, then again with all different colours. And it looked really effective. And do you know what? It was a real mindful process as well because I was just sitting there doing these little dots. It was yeah. brilliant. Loved it. I, I mean, it's a great fun. The self-leveling, okay, but what I, the reason why I'm creating this is to show yeah. you that these ultimately will be your own gems wow so when this is 100 percent dry and i will obviously have a look at um uh, later on uh basically maybe closer to yes. the second hour okay well i will try to peel them off so it's best not to mess about with them yeah. until that you 100 percent sure and then these are your own gems and you can make any size you like you know any size like, oh i need a three mil i need a five you, and also that's it you could place this on your measuring mat and you could make them to the exact size exactly. as well and then you grab your piece of acetate as and when you need yeah. remove Really and that's it. it. Okay, so great the, way to store them. That's it. But just so uh, this is wet. This is definitely wet. And I wanted to show you that also when we're talking about Viva Decor products, right? And I do keep saying it: the self adhesive. Yes. Self adhesive. Yes. Self adhesive. Right. Self adhesive. So look at this. Okay. Oh, now you can really sparkle your, okay. your gems up. I probably have contaminated the blue one. Oh. I haven't. You see no. the blue one? Would be yeah. Nice. Yeah. But look at that. So oh, this lovely. is now, okay, look at that. Sparkly okay. gem. Sparkly. Isn't this amazing? It really is. Okay, fantastic. Right, so now I thought what we're going to do uh, would be the crackle, mm. okay? Because... Um, I was just about to say, I want to talk about this, if we can, for a moment. Okay, yes. Your working mat or oh, mats. Yeah, working mats. There are a hundred here I for know. you. Uh, A3 in size, and they're brilliant. Just watch as Anna Marie works her way through her demonstrations. Just ha We're mixed media, remember that. But just watch out, just how clean the workspace becomes every now and again. <laughs> 11 pounds and 69 pence, you get 100 of these sheets, 005187 is your item number. But you know what it's like, right? We have all these inks and paints and other bits and pieces. They're basically all you need, right? It's a doll up here that you just, your hand catches. Yes. Like even even yeah. here, right, on this part. And then what do you do? You bring your card, okay? Oh. And you've got it on there. Right, and with this mat, seriously, <laughs> do -do, clean. <laughs> and you've okay, got, you got your clean the, space. Yeah, that's the amazing thing. Right, so obviously now with the cra uh, painting, we're going to actually see um, the. Uh, oh, it's a bit sticky. Yes. Okay, so just maybe to refresh. Um, I don't know if uh, we've got anyone new watching this show. Okay, I'm sure we've got lots of people new. Right, lovely. Because obviously I've painted uh, some projects using the crackle medium yes um, uh, crackle medium effect one of them was my bottle oh. if we remember Is okay that dry now mm. yep yep ish yep yep okay one of them was obviously in parts my MDF bubble okay now then we've got white just to say that this particular this particular yes. project all I had is it that one Oh, you are an angel. We found it. Oh, with, I've dropped some And the ribbon stuck onto that. it. Okay, right, brilliant. We're all good. We're cooking okay, with diesel all again. Good. So we had a white piece of card, okay, and I applied the crackle medium into a few places. Yes. Yeah. 
and then we had a white piece of card with uh, w leftovers from my brush or my palette knife yes and that was the crystal gel and modeling paste then very colorful piece of um, I love card. That. yeah and we just used some of the um, yeah. acrylic paints and the bottle that's right and MD an MDF okay yeah. right so basically we're just gonna do some crackling and uh, if I uh, actually I should start it with the darkest color yes. but I'm gonna start it with the lightest okay. because if you're gonna see what's happening on the white you're gonna be well anyone new to crack, yes. uh, crackle effect you're gonna absolutely love the uh, contrast so to speak but that's not to say that you can't use a white on white yeah because it actually looks very 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 wintry yes. yeah okay so I shook my uh, white paint okay and I'm just applying a big dollop that's a nice big dollop. I yeah I need a nice brush okay I've got slightly di uh, different degree of brushes for different things you see <laughs> yeah, I come back, I go back to the first one. Yeah. Right, and all you do without thinking, right? Without thinking and okay. without trying to control anything. Okay. You just basically load your brush. Sort of look the other way as you do it. Yeah. You know, that kind and this of is thing. a very good quality brush as well. So I'm just painting, uh, uh, you know, like loading it both, both ways, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Because what I'm going to do is basically go this way and that way. Okay. And as I'm creating my mount, okay. 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 So white on white, and there you go. That's it. Done. Yes. Right. I'm just going to leave it here okay. for a second, and you will see what's happening. So I'm going to start, like I said, from the lighter colours. Okay. Okay. How long do we have to wait for the crackle to start happening? Right. This is it, really. Like the 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 thinnest. Um, layer of crackle yeah. medium. Yeah. Obviously, you will see it almost straight away. Yes. Okay. Can you see it's already breaking into Ooh, pieces here? But yes. what we have, we have white on white. Okay. okay. So basically, we're gonna. That's it. But just, just about where my. That's it. If the camera. Okay. Go there. But obviously, afterwards, I am going to bring yeah. Inca gold waxes to it. That's where you want to see. No, you, you see? probably. It's the angle. Oh, yeah. Just, just where yeah. the thumb was there. Um, I, don't, I don't want to. That's it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll show you in a moment. But that is that's starting to happen. Actually, the crack is starting to appear. But I am doing the cracks are starting to appear. But I am doing this on purpose, starting with the lightest colour, yep. because you know I think it's like oh, what, what's happening? Nothing is happening, but it, it will be. Okay. Right. So my next lightest, actually, I suppose, is my MDF. Yeah. So I'm just adding my paint here, and I can see the glossy uh, gloss on my yes. mouth, so I know exactly what it is, yep. right? Yep. The crackle is already on there and it's already dry, it. you do need to make sure that you've done that. Yeah. Uh, so that okay. goes up, so the crackle paste goes on your project, we let that That's dry. It. That's it, and it's about, um, it's actually quite cool in the studio, isn't mm. it? Yeah. So, you know, the uh, warmer it is, and you can see what's happening here already, but anyway. It's starting. Yes. Oh, it is. Right? So just a bit more. Uh, okay. And this is just regular uh, paint now that we're putting on. Now this is the white acrylic paint. White acrylic paint. White. Okay. Does it always have to be acrylic paint? No, it could be a chalky paint. Ah. Absolutely. Yeah. Could be a chalky paint. No. So now, obviously, this is what you're going to see more. Okay. Now the one thing I need to point out that I know that this this particular place yep. is tacky. All right. The crackle can happen, but obviously this is where I probably left the most of the right, medium. Right, so it's not dry completely. Right. But Got it can you. work anyway. And this is where you're going to see the the thickest amount of um, acrylic paint, paint yes. as well will define the uh, crackle that you will okay. achieve. I know it sounds, it sounds very, uh, not complicated, but I mean, look at this, isn't that yeah. nice? Uh, and we're painting over that wonderful piece of artwork, but it will all become clear as to why we're doing this. Yeah, very, very shortly. And on this one, we're gonna see. And what's nice as well, you know, when you do create a background like that, you could always take a picture of it and then print it out because it's your artwork, you've done it. Yeah. So obviously all of this is going to dry and as it's drying obviously it's going to be happening, okay? Yes. I think even slightly, slight imperfection yes. like this you don't have to worry about. Yeah. And you know like I don't know if the cam camera can see it but can you see on the thinnest? Yes, yeah it's starting to crack. Can you okay. see that? Right, on this corner. Oh look, 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 look. 
okay. is happening before yes. your very eyes. Absolutely, and that's 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 the beauty about it. So, like I said earlier, okay, where the thinnest amount of uh, medium, yeah. okay, obviously, and combined with the thinnest amount of paint, yes. obviously, will 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 show you the results more. But they're also wow. going to be more delicate results. Got you, yes. Okay, am I making sense? Yes, so the thinner so the layer, the more delicate the crack. Right. The thicker the paint, right. the so bigger the crack. So let me show you a couple of examples, for example, uh, here. Okay, so this, okay, right, this is actually crackle on dotty card. Oh, I like okay? that. Okay, so if you know that some, it, because that's my perfect kind of crackle. Yes. Okay, the, you, you've got some areas stronger than others. Yes. And that's the n more natural looking crackle than like obviously that. solid. Yeah. Okay, but you can see that obviously in these heavier areas, this yep. is where number one, I applied more medium. Yes. Okay. Got you. Yeah? Yep. So they are stronger. Stronger. Okay. And obviously the paint amount would have been a little bit thicker as well. Yes. More paint. Of course. So if you are thinking about any kind of control that mm -hmm. you want to have yes. of a crackle effect, yes. that's all you think about. Yes. The amount of medium yep. and the amount of paint. Okay. Okay. Now this is a classical example Ooh. of a lot, a lot, wow. a lot of crackle medium. Yes. Okay. And paint. Love that. Right. So this is what I wanted to show you, okay? Yes. Right. Do you know what's really nice about something like that? You imagine getting something like that with, with like brown paint and making it sort of like bending it over. That could be a log and then yep. you could put some little robins on there. Right, okay. So this is it. So this is a perfect example. Now I'm going to show you two more things when yes. we come to this. But actually, yes. oh, I should have done the bottle and show you these things. Shall I? You, you're in, oh, okay. It's entirely up to you. Okay. I am in your hands. Okay, so I should paint the bottle. Let's paint the and bottle. Yeah, and then come back to a few examples. Okay. Because we painted a bottle with paint and then we put the crackle medium on That's in right. the earlier show. Now right. we're going to crack it and up. Okay, here like being live show, I mean, I, I will just go over with the paint. Yep. I won't be looking exactly no. for each part okay. where I painted because obviously we don't have it all day, but also uh, it doesn't matter. Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter. Just Ultimately, let it flow. Just let it flow. Exactly. Okay. All right. So obviously, I can see the the, the 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 extra gloss. Yes. Obviously, is where my medium is, of course. But literally, I am going to be painting more or less all over, but gently in pl some places and heavier in some other places. And you can use any color. We're just using white to show you the effect. It doesn't matter what color you use um, on. On your, on your crackle paste, it's that's about right. the colour that's underneath that comes through. So if you do want to consider colourways, it's the colour underneath that will come through Absolutely. the crack. And that's why on the, my previous mount, I um, joined up like um, three colours, yes. right? That's it. That doesn't have to be. And it can be printed colour card as well yeah. as anything. Obviously, I am painting in other places because I want my bottle to be, um, to have the same sort of design, if you know what yes. I mean. So I am going for the base as well. I like that. And you can also complete that, um, like, distress look to That's it as right. well. But you see, I'm leaving it in a few, few areas like this one, unpainted and unpainted. Okay, I think that's... I can't believe where the time's gone. We're nearly uh, we're nearly at two o'clock. No, we've got another live hour. Okay. We're just going all the way through, and we've got another live hour all the way through until three p.m. Uh, could you just keep it on the pad for a moment? Yeah, we've got the camera on there. Okay, as it starts. Look, it is now starting That's to it. crack before your very yeah. eyes. That's it. It's not shattering. No. it's cracking. No, that's it. And that is how amazing this. And you can see it at the bottom here as well. Yeah, love okay. that. Okay. Wow. So when this is completely uh, crackled and obviously dry, yep. I will be bringing the Inca gold waxes to it. Okay. Oh. Through the crackle. So what I want to show oh, you as well, because obviously it's each element dries. I mean, obviously the sanding paper is what I often use as well. So yep. don't, if you're thinking, oh, you know, you left this this part too pinky. Yes. Well, no because yeah. we can obviously add more distress sort of, course of look. We can. But what I wanted to show you just earlier on, okay, is, right, so here, on this mound, what I, what do I have here? Uh, you can see stencil, right? I hope look. you can. Yes. Okay, yeah. but can you see the crackle as well? Yes. Okay, can you see on the white background, the yeah. see-through? Yeah, this bit okay. here. Stencil, that's it, here. Yes. Okay, so this, okay, is my crystal gel. Ah, okay. perfect. Crystal and we have that gel. available on That's the show. Right. Yeah, crystal gel. Yes. 
Now, obviously, the background here is being painted with um, my acrylic paints, okay? Yes. So this is the turquoise that we've funny enough talked about. So basically, obviously, you paint your mount, okay, and then bring other mediums yes. to it, including yeah. your stencil. Wow. Because the crackle, yes. if you're seeing that, it's done on top of the stencil. It is. It, that, okay? I mean, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Right. So many different possibilities, so That's many it. different experimentations that you can do. Because there's kind of no right or wrong with your mixed media projects. No. It's you sitting down, experimenting, see what you can come up with. But I can honestly say that obviously having a um, like Viva the core products, okay? I know that <laughs> invariably it doesn't matter how I sandwich them. Yes. They work. They work. And that is the beauty about it. But I wanted to show you as well, and this is why I've done this mount, white on white, okay? Which is still wet, okay? <laughs> so, I don't know where to put these things. Right, can you see this heavy crackle on my white mount? Can you tilt it forward? Uh, can you see it? Forward. Okay, I'll let you uh, yeah, do that, Shall Janice. I do it? Yeah, I'm not taking dry. it from you. No, no, I'm this one is dry. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, perfect. That looks amazing. Isn't that amazing? Wow. So you can again see on this uh, this part, on this side, yep. okay, the heavier oh, one, the stronger side. one, Yeah. Well, you side. will have, that's it, that side. You, uh, um, you, I would have applied, okay, more of the medium, okay? Yes. And that's why I've gone stronger crackle effect. So if you want a delicate effect, you apply thinner layer. If you want a stronger effect, you apply thicker layer. Got you. Make sense? Yeah. The That's thicker it. the thicker you put it, the bigger the crack. That's it. Wow. Just think yeah. bigger, bigger. And now I'm gonna bring obviously sprays and other wow. things onto it. Yeah. And obviously the Inca gold wax will go through my cracks. Well wow, right you <laughs> so something you hear every day. <laughs> The crackles. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, Janice. Okay, but look at this. Isn't yes. that amazing? That really is. Okay, but obviously this is wet. Yeah. So we, I mean, I can speed up the process of drying, but yes. obviously if I work with a card. Would it crack more if you speed it up? Uh, no, no, no. And generally speaking, I like to leave it to grind uh, naturally. To, to naturally, yeah. yes. But I've got this mount here to yes. obviously crack on with. Oh, but what about that messy, dirty... Um, work area that you're working in oh Anna yes Marie. oh yes let me what show are we going to do with that right let me show you let me show you this look so we've done this mount earlier and what i personally do not like yeah. i don't like this edge here okay it's just too rigid okay, okay? so what we're going to do we're okay gonna blend that in we're using of course <laughs> from the paper That's mat it. we're using the paints that were left over that's it so this is the uh, this is the idea of always having these mounts yes to actually add to something else and create so well this one is yeah. done okay let's put it to the side we had and oh, okay but, but now we've got wet paint to go on are we still using the wet paint absolutely but I'm going to show you something I'm going to show you okay because this is just a lot of fun but let's say okay so I can do obviously painting yes. here etc I don't know what to put on my stuff. I actually, I'd use but that. Show I would use that as a background <coughs> now. Okay. I would take that and add to it. Right. And not necessarily an ink bed, but. Oh. Okay. So we can mix paints on them as well. Yep. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Okay. So, oh, that's dry. What a beautiful teal oh, this is. Oh, that is gorgeous. And just look at the way we just, we're just placing this onto the paper randomly. Don't worry too much about it, but what a fantastic effect. Right, exactly. And obviously, I'm just getting rid of my residue, but obviously, it ultimately, this is your ink pad. Yes. Think about this mess as your yes. ink pad. Okay. <laughs> but if we didn't want the mess, we could simply <laughs> oh, take yeah, it look. away. Okay, yes, exactly. You go. Exactly. It's nice and, and lovely and clean. We've got a nice clean yes. space to work but with. But I'm going to turn it into an ink pad. So obviously, okay. we can obviously make some dollops. So there you okay. go. Okay. Okay. And now let's say I wanted to add a dollop uh, of uh, pink, just yes. just to be crazy. Okay. There you go. Okay. Right. And now off we go. 
Now, you look very nice and tidy. <laughs> do you ever wear an apron? Because when I'm doing anything crafting like this, I get myself into a right mess. <laughs> uh, well, I have my working yeah, mats, you do. Janice. And that's where the mess <laughs> will lie instead. Yeah. That's where, exactly. I need some there of these working mats, for there sure. There you go. And not only that, look at this mess here. I mean, yep. you can just keep going and on going and on going. This is my clean water. Yes. Clean water. Okay. Okay, and even if you thought to yourself, what have I done? Oh my goodness, I don't, ah, oh. okay, don't worry. Look, you have a sponge. Yeah. Ah. And you start blending it. <laughs> okay, honestly, it's just, there is just so many possibilities, okay? And then you bring a stamp onto it, okay? Yes. And so on. But and you've just removed, diluted certain that. things. Sometimes what I would do as well, if I, if I create uh, a piece of artwork like that and I'm thinking, I'm not quite sure, I don't know what to do, I'll cut it up and I'll, and I'll twist it round and turn it and put it in different shapes. Absolutely, but isn't this that. amazing for your journaling? It certainly is, absolutely. Okay. That is just so uh, creative and, and, and that kind of thing. Wow. But even if, I mean, let's say, so this is what I've, I'm going to show you one thing and I'm just going to mo uh, move on. Um, but, uh, so this is your texture. This is your, uh, right, I had a... Do you want some of these? Uh, no. Yes, I can use it. No, I was looking actually for plastic because ah. this is what I've melted earlier on, yes? yes. Okay, so if I had an ink pad to hand, which I don't. <laughs> uh, an ink pad. Do we have an ink I pad? I do. Oh, you've got your um, distress yeah. oxides. I do. I don't have a black one. Black one oh. would have been the best. But okay. Okay. We're just going to use um, pumi, pumi stone. Okay. Okay. Right. So basically, this is my little texture here. Okay. Nice. Would be nice if it was a bit more rigid, but yep. okay. And obviously more dry, if you like. Okay. But look at this. Yeah. Love okay. That. So this. If you want a bit of a texture, and yeah. this is on the wet surface. Yes. Okay. This yeah. is wet, uh, so obviously not only is going to now blend into yes. it, but if you want a slightly bigger area, let's say like this. Okay. Okay. So you just undo your plastic. Yeah. Just build okay. up those layers. Okay. And that's you know, it. You know, use something that you've got at hand. You'll be amazed at the effect that you can get, especially when you're using, you know, these fabulous products that we've got from Viva Decor. Whether it's going for your waxes and turning them into paints or sprays, whether you're going for your uh, texture paste and creating the depth and shape, it's just fabulous. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do have here, already uh, dry, completely 100% dry mounts, and then we're going to bring some Inca Gold Waxes to yes. it as wax uh, yes. format. And then basically we're just going to add this amazing uh, 3D snow in a bottle. Oh, lovely. Now with the waxes, we've got 26 different colours for you. Please go and have a look at them. I love mine. They are amazing. I'll share some of the projects later on after the show that I've done yep. on Janice Phillips on Create and Craft TV so you can have a look at what I've done. And I'm no artist, but I had a go. Yes, I'm just rid getting rid of my second mount. Okay, so there you go. So we've got stencil, like I said, crackle, acrylic yep. paint, and obviously tr uh, transparent gel, crystal yes. gel. And now we are going to bring some darker ink pad. Okay. okay, now you see, I've just touched the, uh, not ink pad, sorry, uh, ink gold wax, yes. and I've touched the graphite, and it's obviously moisture, so you can see my finger, how dirty it is. <laughs> okay, so now... Um, oh, how beautifully decorated it that's is. That's right, that's right. So we can do a couple of things here. We can actually spray, yep. and we can add the wax as well, so for you to see, yes. obviously, both options. And as I'm using graphite, because what I like to do now is, um, see, now I can just undo my... Um, da -da -da. Stay back. Stay back, away <laughs> from the spray. This was spray, um, not up, up and away, but away. This was spray that Anna okay. Marie made, created from the Inca waxes. Yeah, just by adding a little bit of warm water to begin with. Right. I like that. Can you see that? Just it's a clock. I didn't see that before. I know, because the stencil was transparent. Yes. So, but there you go. So this is, the, the actual spray will go now, uh, through the yes. uh, stencil and yep. into the um, Paper. crackle. Oh, into the crackle. crackle. Yeah. But obviously, having your wax on your fingers would, and I'm going to use exactly the same color, so the yes. hematite or graphite, they're just amazing. And obviously, we've got the crackle. So there's a lot of 
of mixed media items here. Look, and actually uh, the color is sitting on the edge, so that yeah. gives you that age kind of effect and look. It's amazing. I like that. And that's okay. um, one of the reasons why we use that transparent paste as well, because when we use our wax and our inks and our sprays, that's it really it. does bring out the detail. Okay, but look, you know, this isn't this beautifully aged. Yeah, I love mount. that. Yes. Okay, just a touch of something. Right, so obviously going back to my wax, and this is a graphite as well, uh, obviously uh, you start inking. Okay. Yes. Now, if you're new to this, obviously you can start playing with your... Um, that using using the uh, the mat the mat yes okay, the paper mat etc. Oh, you just go for it. Just yeah. literally go for it. What's the worst thing that can happen, yeah. right? It is good to okay. take a little bit off because, yes. you know, you don't want to have it too concentrated in it. But areas. honestly, I, I do like to work with my fingers because I always felt I've got more control yes. rather than, you know, all the years... It, even the sponges, I mean, yeah. they are great for certain things, absolutely. I never have nice nails, <laughs> never, ever, ever. No, nor do I, I don't have any nails. Um, but what's nice about this is that you get in contact with your piece of yeah. artwork and you feel it yeah. as you make it. Okay, I mean, it is, I mean, look at this, just a simple thing, right? That looks great. Um, could it you does, use that it? through, mm -hmm. you know, if you put a stencil down and you used your finger yes. with the wax, you could. But not as easily, not funny as enough, easy. because okay. obviously, yeah, uh, that's why we're using, obviously, palette knife. Yes. But this is basically, literally, what uh, what we, what we I'm doing yeah. now. Let me just see, uh, do the edging, because oh, the edging, yeah. I often do the edging, really, because then, as a mount, let's say, I'm not going to mount on the piece of card, but I'm yeah. just going to bring it into a, a place so where we could, right? Yes. It kind of acts like a vignette and draws that's your it. eye in into the That's center it. of the design. I love taking yeah. it around the outside. Yeah. <coughs> so basically it's <coughs> sorry. It's all right. Just going I'm around. I'm talking too much. <laughs> you're not. It's, do you know what, Hannah Marie? It's the excitement of what you're creating. Oh, it's fun, honestly. Right, so obviously now that's Inca Gold Wax. Yep. Isn't this amazing? It Isn't is. Isn't this amazing? I mean, love it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the product and this yep. is what I'm just gonna do. Okay, so here, I'm going to make a mess on my working mat yet again. Love it. And I'm going to rough up my edges. I love doing this. Okay. And even if you tear it, like That's that, it doesn't matter. Do it because it makes it look Absolutely. more aged. You, you know, like a, like an old well, mat. Well, you meant to do it. Yeah, <laughs> of course we did. Yeah, but obviously, cutting into it, that's exactly yeah. what's needed yeah. here in this particular spot. Now, we're using a pair of scissors to do this. You can get some distressing tools, actually. Uh, if you've got a nail file, just use that, a bit of sandpaper. Just use anything that you've got that's going to allow you to create an edge like this. Um, yeah. But look at the mess I've just created on my uh, working mat, okay? It, it looks good. Um, it does look good because... Is that the card mount you're using there? Uh, yes, this is our Mont Blanc card yes. as well. So you can oh, see uh, what great quality. And look, we've got a clean working space again. Lovely. Just <laughs> like that. <laughs> right, so, okay, so I can go a little bit heavier, okay, or not. Now, uh, on a different example, I'm going to show you, obviously, um, going through the crackle. But you yeah. can clearly see, like, going into the crackle and um, how to remove it. But yeah. I want to show you. But anyway, for now, for now, yep. okay, I just wanted to give you a little Do highlight. You know, I was going to say, some gold on there would look nice. Yeah. Yes, that's Go why going for a diff you know some um, different colours in your waxes means you've got um, you know a whole variety. But what we're using now is it's, snow. In it's a bottle. snow in the bottom. Now I know it says snow, and I'm making some uh, clock project, but actually it's opaque. And what I want is basically have that sort of um, I don't know matte sort yes. of finish to it. Okay. I've got a question. Yep. This question has been sent in by Emily. Oh, now, lovely. Emily, thanks for watching, Emily. Thank um, you. Nice to have you with us this afternoon. Um, if we were to heat that up with a heat gun, would it bubble? Which part? The snow. Well, no, but let's do it. Let's see. There is no better way than finding of find, out. I'll find out. Live but no, on no. air. This one won't, won't bubble. What would bubble, basically? It's more like a modelling paste, which has got more acrylic in it. Ah, okay. So it's acrylic if that's the, the, the yeah. that, absolutely. So uh, that's the uh, that's the makeup of a product. Oh, so well literally. They, Emily, okay. thank you for your for no, no. For your I mean, all questions, questions are brilliant. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you it's can't think question, of everything. Emily. There you go, there you go. My project is dry. Thank you, Emily. Oh, and if you want to show us what you're working on, Emily, send it in. It's studio at createandcraft.com. Absolutely. Now, 
what I want to do, okay, is actually go to for the champagne colour. And yes. this is clearly we can see that I've got this beautiful, really, really heavy um, crack. Crack, okay, on both of them. Uh, now, okay, I'm not going to use uh, champagne in solid. I'm going to use mint Ooh, green. Oh, <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> that is actually yarn colour. It's beautiful. Okay. Right. Uh, I, I think the first time you get these waxes home as well, I think one thing I think that you'll all do is go and get a black piece of paper, crumple it up, then smooth it out again, and then take some of that wax and just see how it highlights all of the creases. Because what's nice about that, you can also put that on the front of your journal as a cover. So um, that could be the first thing you do. I know it was the first thing I did when I got my uh, waxes home, and I just I was amazed by that. But you can see here uh, just how easy it is to put on. Yes, and obviously I'm kind of like. Um not mixing on purpose but you see I had my finger that was obviously dirty and yes. I mixed up but that looks great yes. because we've got a little bit of the, uh, the, uh, the dark and the white absolutely so there you go so I'm just bringing that onto here and, and again you can mix these on the paper your brown and your green well your darker and your green you yeah. almost make absolutely. Like a gold color. but I'm going to show you something in a moment of, um, yes that I would uh, that you can do yeah because obviously I do have a baby wipe here and you know again you do you do have to um, when you're using it on baby <laughs> when you are familiar with particular brand you know yes. how moisture they are yes you know so um, and you know the some of them contain too much water some of yes. them not enough and that kind of thing yes. So this is what I mean so you will know how much water to also apply to what I am just about to do okay, okay. right so okay so I had my crackle um, I had my crackle uh, effect and obviously I'm just uh, like uh, going over my textured sort yes. of crackle finish yeah. and now you can actually remove this crackle uh, a little bit of inca gold wax okay to reveal more crackle makes okay. sense yes it okay. does so I'm just showing you another sort of okay uh, option that you can okay. do because you know possibilities are endless there's lots of possibilities yeah. and do you know what we can't yeah. wait for you guys to get all the products home and do some experimentation yourself me personally I've got three days off I'm gonna go home and play with my Viva Decor um, mediums yep. and my other ones as well so um, I can't wait for that yes don't blame you right okay so now a little bit of um, <coughs> wet wipe a wet wipe a yes. wet wipe and I'm just very very gently going to actually go and remove oh. it from can you see what's happening yeah oh that's nice and now that yeah it's almost like can oh, you see perfect isn't that amazing wow I didn't think of that right oh <laughs> that's brilliant well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, only for the next 45 minutes though my yeah. goodness we've had four live hours it's been a takeover oh. of Anna Marie designs and so Anna Marie is here side. tomorrow on our main channel sister channel mm -hmm. of create and craft Do you know what time you're on 11 o'clock but I'm not doing mixed media Oh. Okay, we'll be. Um, ooh. Ooh. What are you doing there? Paper crafting. Are you? Yeah. Oh. So look at this. That, do you know what? That is brilliant. I didn't even think about doing that. It gives it a more smoother finish. Yes. That's it. And this is again your Inca gold wax. Yes. Nothing else. That looks right. Great. So isn't this fabulous? It looks like charcoal wood that's yeah. been burning in a log burner for okay. some time. But like I said, every. Um, baby wipe we yes. have uh, too much water almost so you have to be careful with yes. that because if it's too wet and you're gonna if you're gonna make the crackle effect too wet and yes. once it's wet yeah it can start uh, like you're gonna remove it Got you. and please 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 do not go over yes. rubbing it or, uh, yes. uh, or off not on and on and on just perfecting yes. it because by perfecting it yep. you're actually going to remove it got you okay so you need that right moisture level to That's add right. that um, you know to smooth yeah. it out like isn't that. this lovely yes that okay. is gorgeous now that's very very gentle effect so I only crackled on, on two parts yes. and then if you wanted okay you can now bring color to it okay okay so okay just when this is dry we can buff it again and that's it a product, yeah, a product is done but yeah uh, well obviously now I can bring 
Oh, yeah, the texture to texture. it. Texture. Maybe and that I flour will, as well. Absolutely, and I will finish this off, and hopefully I'm really planning to ever see. Catch up with the photos on yes. my Facebook. Okay. Um, myself, and do a Facebook Live myself. Oh, excellent. But, uh, Not at the same time as me, though, because you'll take all my audience. Oh, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes, that's, no that can be true. Um, just while we're drying that off, uh, we're going to continue with the demos. We've still got about 40 minutes left on oh, this lovely. live hour. If there are items in your basket, it's a good idea to check out your baskets. You are, of course, watching Craft Extra. We have Create and Craft, and we have lots and lots of different shows for you across the two channels. Um, and we're now taking a look at the napkins and the right way to use right. them, actually. Yes, yes. Oh, we are back on. Right, so yes. obviously I've just... Um, made sure that my bottle is dry and we're going to apply some napkins onto it okay, okay so we had crackled. that's right yes. okay so um obviously we had a acrylic paint yes. one of the colors um then obviously crackle medium yeah then the paint and this is what we are left with but okay. we obviously can go a little bit further yes <laughs> using the napkins right. so basically for anyone who's new to napkins let me just separate each uh, ply and you can clearly see that we have three plies okay really originally right. okay so what we do need to do we need to remove just the top ply okay okay and that's what we need and that's what we will be using okay but of course when it comes to any design it's about planning what sort of design does it go with your bottle and does it go with the color and so on you know I mean okay again I wouldn't overthink it too much there, there is really a huge um, variety of variety of yes but ultimately the napkin is just the sort of like something that you it's not obvious mm. but it's there yeah Okay, you like that, yeah, and it's just delicate and it's just you're gonna serve the purpose. So, what I am going to do now, I'm just gonna tear okay away yep. these white pieces. Okay, yes, I could keep them, okay, mm -hmm. I could keep them, but there is not much point because I don't know obviously if they're not going to interfere with my crackle yes. uh, thing. And ultimately, what I also want to do as well, it's actually follow uh, the uh, remove the uh, rigid edges yes okay the straight edges now you're just tearing that uh, with your fingers okay. as it's dry can you use a little bit of water to feather yes. it out would that be yes. easier yeah would it be easier personal preference i yeah. mean entirely up to you obviously um you know i mean this that's what water originally used to be used by uh, in conjunction with mulberry paper yeah napkin is yeah. not as thick as mulberry paper Got you. but if you do find it easier yes of course yeah whatever works for you absolutely there you go so I'm just tearing some bits apart and you don't and have to yeah it doesn't have to be smooth you no. can, you know no. sometimes no. you know tearing is a lot mm. better because it, it will blend in with your desires tearing is caring tearing is definitely better because the uh, you know this uh, the, the straight edge you will yes. see yeah. somehow uh, and obviously this is what I am at the moment I never throw away these bits they're always safe to uh, dry off my brush and stuff like that mm -hmm. okay and now I'm just gonna come and do some planning okay. basically so um, we can plan right okay here would be fine but then obviously I haven't got much crackle on this yep. side okay so then we're going to come here you know ag again because of the nature of the project yeah basically i wouldn't just overthink it too much just go yeah. but you know just and don't spend hours thinking we're not covering up a crackle because the crackle's going to come through no and the best thing is that if you are thinking uh, let me just pop something that will hold my bottle okay generally speaking it's in ink but what's yes okay. right so it's right in front of me so um so basically, you're thinking that it's going to cover m most of it. I mean, on the other side, th I didn't have a crackle here. Yes. And I want the crackle. Yes. Okay, so that's why I've chosen this side. But basically, ultimately, um, ultimately can cover thing. Uh, you, you want, sorry. Do you know what? That looks like um, trees in the background. Is it ash trees? Birch that's trees, just, yeah. yeah. Birch yeah. trees, It does, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, I love birch trees. I love, I've got three birch trees. I love them. Oh, I love them. 
Right, so okay, so this is your um, right napkin glue, okay, with the right consistency and the top coat. And this is for anyone who's never done napkin technique before. And obviously, again, good quality brush is important. Yep. Make sure, I just washed my brush, make sure that the brush is actually dry rather than wet. Yeah. So these bits are always super handy, okay. And basically, don't overthink it. No. Okay. Okay. Just, you, I know where I'm going with this napkin. This is actually very easy because uh, obviously all napkins is very easy. But yes. what I'm going to start off with is actually middle okay. to secure. Okay. Right? Okay. So I'm going, just loading my brush. And basically, all I am doing is just going like so. Okay. Okay. Right. And then bringing my napkin down and make sure that obviously the, the napkin doesn't like dry brush no okay so make keep sure keep your brush that's moist it. that's it wow, right isn't it that. can you see the crackle now yeah so obviously i've chosen this design because it's oh, got white amazing. okay oh i love this all right and edges if you are working with the napkin edges are very important again make even if you make them too wet <laughs> it doesn't matter as long yes. as they're wet because you know if you don't apply the glue i mean look at that okay that so far yeah. okay love that right so now i just don't want to touch with it right i'm going to use it uh, upright if okay. i may because i don't want my napkin to touch my ink pad and then be removed okay and then basically let it flow and always go with the flow yeah okay like. and do you know what the medium works really really well like we said before you need the right medium to make sure that it doesn't tear that napkin further yes and that it does adhere it perfectly absolutely adhere, adhere it <laughs> there you go yeah no, but that's that's what you want if you you know if you're especially new to something you know you want the right tool uh, yeah. for the job. Okay, it's a deer in the background and then yeah. it's a stag in the foreground. That's it, and I'm making sure just literally. Um, okay, you see, just right at the bottom. And if you go too low with, of course, with the napkin to the bottom, obviously you might catch it against even your working mat. Yes. So it's yeah. good if we were to very give a sort of quick blast. Isn't that amazing? How easy was that? And with your napkins, you've got so many different designs to choose from. In fact, you get a, um, is it thirty? Oh, don't, yeah, you get your um, mounts with your napkins, don't you? So thirty napkins but that's the card. and fifty mounts. Mm. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, I want to. Uh, I, I want. I would like to do a bauble here. Yes. And obviously, show you. Yes. Now, the baubles. We've had a question. Tracy sent in a question. Lovely to hear from you, Tracy. Tracy would like to know how the baubles on the tree are made. Can we get a shot of the baubles right, to show I you? Can I actually make it? Yeah. Because I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I promised uh, one customer that I will get to show you. Yeah. How we're just having it. a look at those. I'll Again. Shall I just come over here? Where are we? Are we, on, are we on this one? No, we're not. We're on. Oh, we're on this one. Yeah, look at that. Aren't they lovely? I can't spill it too much because it interferes with that one. But this one, look at that, all the way through. And aren't these beautiful? These are the kind of baubles that are sent down through, you know, through like heirlooms. Aren't they beautiful? And I have to say that this is all down to my desires to burn. Your, <laughs> your desire to burn? <laughs> yes, like I, I said uh, earlier on, I like to just basically burn. Uh, craft burn, uh, not, craft, not... Yes, yeah, yeah of course, yes. of course, of course. But let me just show you this uh, bottle. It's not yeah. finished Sorry, yet, but obviously mm -hmm. as we've got the request... So there you go. So you've got the uh, crackle showing through your napkin. Yes. Isn't that, that amazing? That really is amazing. Okay. Oh, and then all I, I would that. add, all yes. I would add is basically yeah. a little bit of tinting, black tinting yes. at the bottom. Yeah. And I don't know if I've got time for now or later. Would you Yeah, think? you've got time. You've got yeah. we've got 20 minutes. Okay. So I think I can definitely do the bubble if yes. I do that. So look, we're just going back to the Inca gold wax again and just making sure that everything is just wet. Yes. Right. So I'm just going I'm going to actually 
Do you know what? I like the idea of putting the wax on and then adding a bit of water yep. or adding the water before you put it on. I've not thought about this. And again, this is something I'm going to try when I get home. All these different things that you can learn. And it is just having a go. You know, yeah. think about the items that you've got around you in your craft room and your kitchen. You know, yeah. things that you're going to throw away. Don't use them to create. Now, that looks really effective. Yeah. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is solid Inca gold, right? But, OK, I'm going to even, even... Uh, I love that. They look still. And that's okay. bringing out the black in the napkin, isn't that's it? That's it. Yeah. But also what it's doing is actually grounding, uh, grounding my bottle. Yeah. Okay. But at the same time, at the same time, I'm just going to add this in few places. Yeah. Okay. Right. And I generally, I like to work, I mean, look, look at the top now. Yeah. Okay. Just, I like to work with the one finger and then obviously the clean one just to wipe it off, just yeah. to see. But literally, I'm just adding elements here and there love this if it's too heavy obviously obviously like too heavy i can always wipe it off how with a wipe Thank a wet you. wipe that holds the right moisture so it doesn't wipe the whole product Thank off. You. i am learning so can you go wrong no absolutely not okay so there you go so obviously i am really super rushing here just um as always actually as always. We never have enough time, even on a four, four hour know. takeover. Where does it go? That is, I mean, super amazing. Yeah. But um, this bottle that is really is true. fabulous. Imagine that as your centerpiece at Christmas or just, you know, something to put on your table, that, that decorative right. element. Absolutely. Beautiful. But I'm going to show oh, you a couple really of like things, a couple of things we could do. So I'm just going to give a quick blast yep. of heat. Remember, all the um, Inca Golds are available. They're not all gold, they're all different colours. Colours. <laughs> colours. With the baby wipes, yes. obviously we can remove a little bit of colour. Yes. Okay, and blend the colour onto it as well. Yes. Okay. But what we can do as well is using a sand sanding paper. Okay. Right, and that also gives you a super lovely effect by literally just sanding down. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Yep. Now, obviously, as we've got textures, can you see? Now yep. suddenly more white is revealed yes. as well. As we've got more textures, this is the beauty about it. You know, I do I do keep saying it, but you know, it doesn't matter how you sandwich yes. this. I mean, it just looks amazing, really. And look, this tiny bit of pink now showing there. It's all about creating this very sort of shabby, distressed. It looks amazing. Look. I really like that. And it's okay. a bottle. Right, and it's a bottle. And here I have a choice. I can sand it down, obviously, or I can oh and we can sand it down, yep. okay, a little bit at the bottom. Absolutely. But one other thing that I could do if I wanted to, I can add the spray to the solid wax. Okay. Yeah. Same colour? So, yeah, yep. the black. So that gives me gives me the more sort of speckly effect. Yes. Okay. This is your Christmas present done really, isn't it? Okay. There you go. So can you see? Can you see just, you might think not much difference, but there is a difference because the little speckles are going yes. slightly higher up the napkin yep. design and obviously makes a huge difference. Yep. Okay, and then we can have a little bit of a, a tea light, uh, not tea light, but a um, bottle light. Yeah, in. like the bottle lights that you get, absolutely. Yeah. Like the battery operated ones. Let's have a ones. look what it looks like. With a, it's probably too dark, but maybe not. We've got some here if you want to put them in. Yes. Let's okay. do that. Let's take them out of there. And then we're going to do the, uh, the polystyrene. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to pop for speed. We might have some of these bottle lights on the website, actually. Um, I'm not sure. Just have a look. Just put can bottle you see lights. It? Well, it's fairly solid, but you yes. can see a little bit. You will. I mean, when the lights are yeah. off, this could be a night light in the hallway, for example, yeah. uh, or just maybe um, in a child's room that yeah. doesn't like to sleep with all the lights off. Yeah. You will get just some little twinkles see, yeah, and twinkles. some little lights. But you know, even even at this stage, when you've made your bottle, what's yeah. important to remember as well that okay, oh, I've I've, I've created it too solid. Let's yes. say okay. All you have to do is sand some of it off. Yeah, can you yeah. see it? 
and then you, All can you see, have to yeah, do. And you can see right through then. That's it. Brilliant. And, you know, you, it's your control, yes. where, where you've got the control where you say, I wanted this match or that wow. match. Wow. Sorry, I just took that out shot then. Um, pin flare, that's what they are. You can find those on the website. I just think that is absolutely beautiful. And you can see there, you can just take off some of the mediums and then you've got that light shining through. Um, absolutely But even fantastic. on the crackle, you see here as well. Okay. Yeah. And even just if I was to do what I just did earlier, okay, with touching up a little bit of the baby wipe you could still do that perfect so Love literally that. it's just um endless. and there's your decoration look at that you can just put that on a shelf somewhere in your home yeah and it's going to look absolutely fabulous oh, i love that oh it's still warm as well <laughs> uh right now right, lovely are we gonna are we gonna bobble yes definitely okay. do. yeah we've got time right we have got time okay again uh with the bauble um obviously we are melting something down so it's basically plastic ultimately so you have to make sure that yeah. you're in a an area that's well ventilated yeah. i mean i shall move back yeah. when the melting begins it's good to be um please be careful about these things yeah. please be careful and basically if you can obviously uh wear a pair of gloves or open your yes. window whatever actually is you, you know uh, yeah. is best for you or like wear a mask or something that's like right that. okay now one thing i would recommend you do because obviously the, the polystyrene bubbles just like the heart yes okay they do come in a completely different uh, sizes so yes um you can do any size, you can do any size, yeah. right? But the heat gun is very important. Is it the heat gun we're going to use to burn it? Yes. You're looking very, very excited about this. Oh, I love it. You should it. see the twinkle in your <laughs> eye. Honestly, I love it. When, I've done, when I actually burned my polystyrene ball, I was oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, I love it. Do be careful again, go through all the safety you, regulations. Yeah, but one thing I have to say, that if you do not, ha if you do have one of those white heat guns, yes. where the heat is white, yes, Please don't use it. Okay. Okay. Because literally, it, it just the heat spreads too 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 far yeah. out from the point that you're aiming Got you. at, and actually you can uh, burn your uh, hands. You know. So yeah. yes, do be careful. But um, obviously, this is for an inspiration only. Okay. Okay. So uh, it obviously takes all your mediums, yes. napkins, etc., paste, etc. But you know. There you you burn away. Yeah, I burn away. Right, so basically, I've got a little, little dimple at the back of my uh, thing. I don't know why I'm saying that, but, you know, I always go for this, put my index finger at the back, and then I aim, okay? Yes. Can you see what's happening already? By aiming in oh, one wow. place, I'm already melting. How can you not like melting? Wow. You know, on my uh, YouTube video, actually, if you want to see this again, yes. there is a video tutorial I've uh, created using a, well, melted heart. Yes. Okay? So you can see the same principle. But look, so this is where I am at this stage, okay? Wow. This is where I am at this stage. Now, so obviously you have a control. How yep. deep, how far, yep. how wide. Yep. Right, so off we go again. And like it's it. amazing. Oh, thank you. And I like to. Um, it's like watching one of those um, time lapse videos of an orange rotting. Yeah. But okay, let me just stop you. Stop here. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Wow. So this is where I am now. Yeah. Okay. When I honestly um, come up with this idea, I just thought, oh my goodness, I love it because yeah. again, it's something taking a, a boring sort of yes. product uh, in one sense. And making it uh, quite spectacular. Right, so now I can go obviously to the side if I wanted to, okay, or I can go burning deeper if I wanted to. Everything is obviously up to you. It's melting, not but burning, it's melting. just to let you know. That's it. And again, well ventilated room, gloves, mask. That's right. I mean, you can see. Anything we're not doing. I mean, I don't know if you can see any, any fume. Can you? I there is definitely anything. tiny, tiny little uh, sort of a uh, plasticky thing, oh, but nothing bit. serious. Now you're pointing it at me a little bit, but but anyway. So obviously, uh, be careful. Don't use the wrong heat gun. No. Okay. Ventilate your room. Yes. And basically, if, uh, just uh, if you're enjoy unsure, it. maybe you can get in touch with you on your Facebook group, and you could just let people yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, in, on my YouTube, on that video, Melted Heart is called. You can actually see. Uh, exactly uh, step by step okay. okay look and obviously here I've got this um, still warm edges yeah be so careful what I'm doing it. yeah they're not boiling hot now no. but obviously be careful at home yes please yeah. do be careful obviously and I'm just basically making it 
them tidy. Isn't this yep. amazing? It is amazing. Now, so let me now spray a bit uh, something in 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 in, in the okay. centre. And because um, we've got a few minutes left, we have got ten minutes left. Ten minutes it's left. gone really quickly, I know, hasn't I know, it? I know, I know, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to spray the uh, with this uh, darker colour because you can see the contrast, yeah. and it's actually quite nice um, to see the contrast. Okay, and again. Is it? Oh wow! Isn't this amazing? Yeah, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Could you uh, put some of the um, oh, absolutely glitter sparkly bits in oh, there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do because it's still uh, very wet. Obviously, yeah. I can spray ed the edges in the moment. Yeah. This is all the same products that we're using here. But I'm going to yeah. give a quick sort of blasty um, yeah. to dry it off. Yeah. Because obviously what you need, bearing in mind this is wet, so you would ideally have to leave it a little bit longer. But yeah. you know, we are getting there. Yes. Because now all I can do, basically, I've melted a little bit the base, but yes. obviously side here. Yep. So, hey ho, we can spray with a different colour. Yeah. Or the same colour. It's just, you know, there is, there is just so much fun. Look at that. Brilliant. Okay, now so I'm going to leave it like this, but now I'm going to go for the modeling paste. Okay? okay, and let me think if I've got something so super solid here. I've got my snowflakes, which yep. okay, I suppose. I suppose if I went for white one, would be more contrasting. Okay, right, modeling paste, just like all the paste yes. that we talked about. Obviously, we'll have. Um, uh, Adhesive properties. Yes. Okay, so that's very, very important because obviously anything now that I'm going to pop inside, and let me just grab a little bit of my natural fibre that I coloured. Okay, that works that really well actually. Exactly. So I'm just going to pop it here, and honestly, you could just. Is this on the show tomorrow? On the show tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Eleven o'clock tomorrow on Create and okay. Craft. Okay. Anne Marie Designs are back. And well, this is the flower that I found that I want to spray as well. Anyway, so this is all like no glue required, and I've got very, very limited number of uh, embellishments, etc. But I hope you can obviously see okay. the samples, etc. So now the palette knife essential. Okay. Because uh, when I'm doing this, I actually have got more control with the palette knife simply yeah. because they are, the edges inside are not uh, um, smooth. Yes. <laughs> 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 I do have to think sometimes what I'm saying. You're doing really well. But... Um, it's like a dinosaur egg as well, maybe. Oh, yeah. I mean, any shape in a polystyrene you could do, just yes. uh, just that, you know, Easter eggs, flowers, hearts, yeah. anything. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, and there you go. Now, so this is my glue. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, sorry. And now I'm going to obviously <laughs> add um, more okay. modeling paste. Yep. And then we're going to spring uh, sprinkle the magic onto it. Okay. Okay. So a bit more of that inside. Again, this works as the okay. adhesive. There you go. Right. Oh, I haven't crackled that bit. Okay. There you go. Yeah, something like this at Halloween would look good. Now, okay. we're, we're, we're can you see this? We're jazzing it up with that lovely jazzing sparkle. Jazzing it up, exactly. Yeah. And now I'm just going to add the snow. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, for the bauble, one thing I should have mentioned, yes. I would have created a hole with the kebab stick. All oh, right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Very <really>? particular about <laughs> that. Kebab stick. Is that, is that before or after you've eaten the kebab? I do have a secret stash. <laughs> of kebabs? For my, no, the kebab sticks for my okay. crafting. Okay. <laughs> okay, so my snow. Okay, so we've got my snowflake like yep, that. Perfect. And now we can use. How about we can use we can use a, another bit of spray, or yep. I can just use. Okay, because uh, I'm time. Time, time, time is important. Do you know important. what you could put in there? I wonder if they're dry. What about your little beads that you made? Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. But I'm also going to... Yeah, I'm going to go back to them. Yes. I promise, promise, promise. Okay, just... Shh. Ah, now this is the... Is this a 3D snow? Snow in a bottle. Yeah. 3D snow in a bottle. One Perfect. big, 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 big... 
blob? Yes. yes. I, was thinking about, I, was think, I was thinking about saying dollop. I'm thinking, well, that doesn't sound very nice, does it? <laughs> Obviously, better tip it blob, out. Trust me. And please, is better than and blob. please work uh, with your crushed ice in, within the uh, box. Yeah. But anyway, so that, that is my project. Very quick one. Okay, but yes, uh, now I can ask. Where's the acetate? Where did you Dennis. put your acetate? Uh, it oh, is yes, clear. Correct. It got could it, got be it, got anywhere. I've got it. Okay, oh, got yeah. it. Right. Remember, this is what we made from the yeah. uh, pouring medium. Glass, glass gel effect. Yes. Oops. Oops. Did I lose it? No. Well oh, there it done. Is. We got it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> 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 okay. Right, and the 3D snow actually is my oh, self adhesive. That looks great. Yes, I didn't do the perfect job, but yep. uh, because of a C, I don't have my tweezers. No, okay. but, you've but done actually, a job. you can see we're removing that, okay, and that is a gem. You could make your own tiddlywinks. Yeah, abs fantastic, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and then basically, what I wanted to maybe show you do we have a few minutes? We have got four minutes left. Oh, that's plenty. Yeah. Right, because what I thought we can do. Yep. Okay. I love that. I have to uh, just dry it upright. Yeah. Now this should be dry. Oh, let me just have my uh, clean mat, clean area. Oh, there. Ooh, look oh, at I've that. been there before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have we all? Listen, you can get this. <laughs> right. You can get it's a hundred sheets. Uh, for your paper mats, they're A3 in size and it's brilliant. We've been using them throughout the whole uh, four hours. And look at this, we've still got a clean surface to work on. Four ninety, uh, yeah, no, twelve ninety nine for a hundred sheets. Zero zero five one eight seven. Okay, lovely. So very very quick uh, thing. Now number one with the sponges that you're receiving in the set of the uh, Mystic uh, Morning and Soft Blossom, yep. you get four of them. The ceramic effect, like I mentioned earlier, it's super 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 strong. So if you do not want to waste your sponges please put them in the water straight after you've used it because yes. it will actually um, dry your sponges so bad so hard yeah. that no, nothing can be done yeah. uh, about them so anyway load your branch uh, so we're using the ceramic sponge. effect we've got the ceramic effect in two kits for yeah. you two different colorways that's right and all I am going to do I'm going to uh, tilt not tilt stiff up Stipple. Stipple is your tilt. <laughs> you, you're tilting and stippling. Oh, yes. I mean, I think I need... I can't combine those words in my head. Because stipple? No, yeah, tilt, and tilt, stipple. tilt and stipple. Tilt and stipple. Yeah. Um, I love this effect. I really, really Isn't do. Isn't this... I mean, oh, straight away, it's like classy, right? Yeah. It's solid. But the colour is... I mean, uh, it's not white. It's yes. off-white. Yeah. So that makes a difference, really. Yeah. Because it's not like... Um, Really like this. Yeah, normally I probably I'm thinking how I would work if nobody yes. was watching. <laughs> I would just grab the base. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Yeah. And that's what we want. Now imagine. I mean, that was just a clear, clear glass, and you are now transforming this into yes a vase with a handle. Yes, <laughs> a vase with a handle. Because it's a lovely um, little jar. I like the way that it actually. Um, blends in yeah. yeah you're going from that sort of off-white into the blue yeah. and yes you could put flowers in here you could put a tea light in yeah. here if you wanted to uh, we've only got a minute and a half left oh, of the show yeah. I'm sure you'll agree at home we've had an absolutely cracking quite literally cracking uh, two hours doing all of the different effects with all of these wonderful Viva Decor uh, products which I just want every single thing that we've got on the show because to have everything there with the confidence and assurity that you're going to make and create beautiful designs I mean we made this in minutes we, we needed to let it dry but then yeah. using the napkin may you know made that design in minutes it's wonderful may, may I just add that obviously yes. the uh, tiny amounts of the uh, ceramic effect I'm yes. now applying onto my blue uh, yeah you know because now if I wanted to add the uh, shading then yeah okay that okay uh, will be like almost the so the colour goes on first, the ceramic paste yeah. on afterwards. We've got 30 so seconds 30 left. Seconds. Right, so basically, what all I would do... OK, let me just spin out. Oh, yep. I've missed this bit. Yep. That really is... Okay. Uh, right, 20 seconds left. Okay. Isn't that absolutely <laughs> marvellous? <laughs> alongside that and alongside the ball ball that we made as well. Oh. Uh, Anna Marie, can I say what an absolutely fantastic four hours <laughs> I've spent with you and you've been totally oh, inspiring. Thank 